Keeper versus Dennis Daughtry, ticket number P1177224, count one, lease scene of accident, personal injury, count two, lease scene of accident, property damage, and count three, fail to report accident. Good afternoon. Tamika Horn appearing on behalf of the people, P70303. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Josh Horncuff appearing on behalf of the defendant, Mr. Daughtry, P63139. Oh, oh, yeah, I told him to leave the breakout room. Oh. Mr. Daughtry, can you unmute yourself, turn your video on, and say your name for the record. Hello. Yes, say your name, sir. Dennis Daughtry. Okay, we are here for a bench trial on a ticket and charge just leaving the scene of an accident. So there's really no complaint, technically. But um, did you want to make an opening statement, Ms. Horn? I will. Um, and briefly, Your Honor, um, the people are here to show its burden of proof um, regarding defendant Dennis Daughtry's guilt on March 17th, 2021, at which point he was charged with leaving the scene of an accident, personal injury under MCL 257.617, small a, leave the scene of an accident, count two, 257.618, and failing to report an accident under 257622. In addition to that, there is a pending civil infraction in which he was charged by Officer Willie Robinson on all these charges for failing to use due care and caution in causing an accident. The people plan to present Officer Willie Robinson, our complaining Detroit police officer. We also plan to call Mr. Jawan Japer, or Pastor Jawan J. Draper, who witnessed the incident, in addition to Ms. Kathleen Grimes, who was involved in the incident. Um, the people will show um, beyond a reasonable doubt that Mr. Dennis Daughtry did in fact leave the scene of the accident and caused property damage, personal injury. He failed to report the accident and he failed to use due care and caution, which resulted in all these charges. Thank you, Your Honor. All right, let me call this. I mean, I have that this ticket is in default, but I'm assuming he's been present, so it's not in default. So the draft state for ticket number P1177222, count one, accident drive, failure to use due care and caution. All right, uh, Mr. Arnkoff, do you want to make an opening statement? Yes, just briefly, I, I know we had a discussion off the record. I know it was Ms. Horn. Were you moving to dismiss any of the counts prior to, or were you um, going to report on all of them? Uh, it looks like... Um... We're moving forward with all of them at this time. Okay, all right, that's fine. I just wanted to make sure, Your Honor. Um, Your Honor, uh, we are here, as, as obviously Ms. Horn said, for uh, an incident where my client is alleged to have left the scene of an accident. Uh, what the court is gonna hear is that my client, you know, one of the claims is failing to report. That means failing to either you know, stop and identify, uh, exchange information with the other driver, or to notify, you know, the, the local police department, you're, you're going to be presented with testimony that Mr. Daughtry did contact 911 and report the accident. I know there's going to be witnesses who are going to claim that, you know, he continued on after driving. But uh, what I'm going to present to the court is that the jury instructions, how they defined immediately stop means that the, the vehicle has to be put in a position of safety before uh, the reporting can be done. You'll hear that Mr. Uh, Daughtry was driving a tractor trailer, a very long tractor trailer uh, on a very busy street, and he needed to find the appropriate place to pull off so he could report it. But there is no doubt, Your Honor, that Mr. Daughtry did contact 911 uh, as soon as he was able to come to a stop, that's it's not going to be disputed. Um, so as far as whether there's guilt beyond a reasonable doubt that he failed to report, the court is, is not going to find that he's guilty of that because he did in fact report it after he moved his vehicle into a position of safety and he was not trying to flee the scene at all. All right. Uh, 
Yes, Your Honor, the people will call Officer Willie Robinson. Officer Willie Robinson, can you turn your video on and raise your right hand, sir, and unmute yourself? Good afternoon, Judge. Do you swear or affirm to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth? I do, yes. Put your hand down. Let's see. And thank you, Your Honor. Um, Officer Robert Robinson. Um, where, yes, where are you currently employed? Uh, city of Detroit. Okay. And is that um, with the City of Detroit Police Department, correct? Yes, it is. Okay. Where are you? Uh, how long have you been a police officer? Uh, for, for going on 14 years, going on 15 years. Okay. And please describe any training you've received in regards to accident scenes. Um, accident investigation one as related to accidents. Okay. And what does that entail to your memory? Uh, that entails um, vehicle damage, uh, damage to the street, um, yaw marks, skid marks, uh, things of that nature. Um, coordinate method, triangulation method, uh, measuring accident scenes. And can you explain what's the triangulation method? You know, it's just a way when, when you when you have to document um, the evidence at a scene. That's how you measure the evidence. You have to come up with uh, two coordinates, a north and south coordinate and an east and west coordinate. That's how you measure, measure the evidence at the scene before it can be collected. Okay. And were you on duty uh, March 17th, 2021? At approximately yes, four o'clock, four forty-seven. Yes, I was. Okay, and what eventually led you to the scene? I was dispatched to uh, Grashit and Adelaide for a uh, two-vehicle accident of Grashit and Verner. Okay, and um, and is that in the city of Detroit? Yes, it is. Okay. And what happened that afternoon that led you to the issuance of a citation? There was a two vehicle accident. There was a, uh, a, a vehicle that was side swiped by a semi truck. Um, semi truck continued to drive for a distance before it finally pulled over. And how do you know that? Based on witness, uh, witness statement and the uh, victims. Okay, and so we'll get their testimony later on. So we'll move on as to your um, direct knowledge of uh, this incident. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Did the, what, did the traffic occur, offense occur on a public highway or a public street? Yes, it did. And you mentioned that was Grashid and what was the other street? The accident took place in front of Zeeman's pawn shop. Okay, to your knowledge. Yes, to my knowledge, yes. Okay. Um, and when you arrived at Mr. D what was Mr. Daughtry driving? Mr. Daughtry was driving a white international. Um, it was a 2022 international LT625 uh, tractor trailer with a flatbed trailer attached to it. Okay. And did you approach Mr. Daughtry's vehicle? Yes, I did. And did you come into contact with Mr. Daughtry? Yes, I did. And do you see him in the virtual courtroom? Uh, no, I don't. Only I can only see you. Okay. Um, and let's see. Um, let's see. You don't see anyone else in the virtual courtroom? Nope, just you. Okay. Um, do you see the judge? No, I don't. Okay. And you don't see another attorney. Is there any way you can adjust your device so that you can see all the participants in this Zoom hearing? Can you put on gallery? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I see it now. Okay, and where do you, do you see defendant in the virtual courtroom now? Yes, I do. He's wearing a uh, looks like a blue t-shirt. Okay. And your honor, um, may I bring this to the court's attention that the officer has just identified the defendant for the record? Yeah, the, the, the uh, record shall so reflect. Okay. And please, please take us through each step of the traffic stop. Um, when you approached the video, I mean the vehicle, what was the first thing you did when you approached the vehicle? Well, the first thing I did was just make sure there were uh, there were no injuries or if there were injuries to make sure I get EMS and route while I'm collecting uh, information that's needed. For did you Thank you. I'm sorry. And did you speak to Mr. Daughtry? I did speak with Mr. Daughtry. And what did you say to him? Um, he wasn't injured. I asked him what happened in relation to the accident. And what do you recall him saying in response? Um, he had advised me that he was traveling southbound on Gratiot, um, passing Zemans. Um, he stated that he, as he was passing Zemans, he did, he felt something um, on the side of his, uh, felt something come from the side of his trailer. He stated that he then continued to drive until he could pull over to a safe location. Okay. And was there any damage to his vehicle from what you observed? His vehicle did have damage. Okay. And what kind of damage? So the trailer, I believe, had two axles on the trailer. The um, second to last, um, the, the tire, the rim on the passenger side of the second to last mm -hmm. axle had damage to it. Okay. The rim actually it was uh it was it was a steel rim, but it was bent in as if he had something. Okay. And how many people were in the car with him? It was just him. Okay. And did you take pictures of these the, the his vehicle? Yes, I did. Okay. I took pictures of the VIN number, the tractor, um, the number on the trailer, okay. and the and actual damage. And Your Honor, the people would ask to share screenshots of uh, the photographs that were taken by Officer Robinson. No objection, Your Honor. Okay. Okay, let me share screen. It says host disabled screen sharing. Let me close that. Start over. And Your Honor, it says host disabled participant screen sharing. Okay, let me try it again, Your Honor. Okay, here we go, got it. Okay, and Officer Robinson, I'm gonna go through some photographs and that I've shared with defense counsel as well. Um, does this picture reflect the vehicle that you assert Mr. Daughtry was driving? Officer Robinson? Yes, I don't see a, a, a picture. I only see the um, the screen with the files, the white screen with the files. Okay. But someone just entered the the, um, the room. I'm not exactly sure. They're on an iPhone. I believe that's Attorney Fortner. I, I can't see. That is, Shada. How are you? Or who am I speaking to? Take a moment to speak to Mr. Fortner, or, or can we just continue on? Um, the people will continue on, but I would leave that decision with Mr. Ironkoff. Uh, I mean, I guess at this point, since uh, the people are continuing on, I don't know if it's going to do anything at this point unless Ms. Horn does, but it doesn't sound like it. I mean, obviously, we can, we can 
plow through until we're done. And then maybe we can talk to Mr. Portner again to see if that changes anything. But um, I don't know if it's going to help at this point. All right. Well, then. But has my number. You have to call me back. You got the call yeah. back. <laughs> I'll do that too. <laughs> All right, I'll check back in about 30 minutes. Okay, Ms. Grimes is in a um, breakout room. I don't know if you want to speak with her, Mr. Fortner, while we're in trial. Uh, let me give her a call. I'll call her herself. Okay. Thanks. We don't, we don't see anything this far. We just see the folder with all the uh, pictures. Okay. So, uh, let's see. You are screen sharing. Oh, let me make. You see the folder that is named on the. Okay, you are screen. Let's see the folder that says truck cab one. But it's not showing the picture. No, ma'am. All right, let's see. So you see the folder. Let me let me enlarge it. Um, stop share. Share screen. Okay. Do you see anything now? Yes, I see the uh, driver's side of the tractor. Okay. And does that look familiar to you? Yes, that's the tractor that uh, Mr. Daltrey was driving the day of the accident. And did you take this photo? That looks like a photo I took, yes. Okay. And the people would like to uh, introduce this to the court for admission as it, the People's Exhibit A. No objection, Your Honor. Okay. Okay, and that's the truck cap. Okay, and let's see, there are some more pictures, Your Honor, that we have. Um, screen sharing, stop the share there. Okay. Share screen. Um, there's another photo that I have here. Does this look familiar to you, Officer Robinson? Yes, it does. Okay. And is that a photo that you took? Yes, it is. And what does that depict? So I'm assuming that is going to be the uh, the trailer number in reference to his company or his job or Carter Lumber. Uh, a number to wait to identify the trailer. Okay, and is that a ac uh, ac accurate representation of what you saw that day? Yes, it is. And the people would move um, to admit uh, the trailer rear view into evidence, Your Honor. No objection, Your Honor. I assume that's Exhibit B. Yes, that would be Exhibit B. Thank you, Counselor. And you mentioned some tires earlier. Um, or what did you say was going on with the tires? So it was actually the, the, the trailer had two axles. It was the um, axle, the second from the rear axle on the passenger side rim that made contact with the victim's vehicle. Okay. And do you believe, uh, do you see what is on the screen right now? Yes, I do. Okay, and is that an accurate representation of your assertion here today? Oh, no, I'm sorry. All I see is the, the files. Okay, all right. Let me go back. Okay, and do you see that? Yes, I do. Okay, and is that 
what you were that your assertion is that that's where the vehicle make the vehicles make contact correct so that's going to be the second second from the rear axle on the passenger side obviously the outside rim you can see the the dents in the upper you know the upper right side of the rim where it's not smooth it looks sort of flat with the um the black marks on the white rim that's and where this right here yes ma'am that's where the the rim made contact with the victim's uh, vehicle. Okay. And um, the people would move for trailer tire number two no to be admitted into evidence. No okay, and that would be exhibit C, Your Honor. Okay. Now, Officer Robinson, I'm going to move towards... Um, Ms. Grimes' vehicle. Okay. And do you see a picture or you only see the files? Only see the files right now. Okay. Okay, share screen. Okay. And do you see the picture? No, uh, yes, I do. Okay. And did you take that photo? Yes, I did. And you took that photo on the day of the incident? Yes, I did. And what is that a depiction of um, from your investigation? So that's where the semi truck, um, the semi trailer tire made contact with the victim's vehicle. That's going to be the driver's side rear uh, corner of the GMC terrain. It's going to be a damaged rear quarter panel, damaged rear bumper, damaged rear tire and rim. Okay. And uh, is that picture still showing? Yes, it is. Okay. I'm trying to move along so that I can open them on now without having to go back in. Um, Okay. All right. And let's see, let me go back to share. And what do you, as far as identification of the car, what photos did you take a picture of on Miss Grimes' vehicle? On her vehicle, I took a, a picture of the license plate. And I took a photo of the VIN number. Okay. Move this over. Okay. And do you see a photograph? Yes, I do. Okay. And what does that photograph depict? That's going to be the rear of the victim's vehicle with the license plate in the photo. Okay. And is that an accurate representation of what you believe is Miss Grimes' vehicle? Yes, it is. Was Ms. Grimes in the vehicle at the time you approached that vehicle? Um, I, I, I don't recall if she was in the vehicle. I, I believe she was still in the vehicle. Okay. Um, Your Honor, um, the people would like to admit uh, the license plate or the rear photo of Ms. Grimes the, or the GMC terrain. No objection, Your Honor. As exhibit uh, E. The, the prior photo uh, that showed the damage to the driver's side quarter panel, that's exhibit D, correct? Co correct. Okay. All right. And as far as... Uh, further identification of that GMC terrain. Um, and what color was the terrain when you saw it? When you saw it, is that an accurate representation? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah accurate representation. It was uh, beige. 
And is the picture that you see here, what does that depict? That is the VIN number from the GMC. Okay. And when you received the call from dispatch, um, where were you located? I don't recall my location. Okay. Um, as far as where you believe the accident happened, where did you believe that accident happened? So the accident took place in front of Zeeman's pawn shop. Okay. And your honor, the people are moving for um, exhibit F, which is the VIN number that Officer Robinson testified to. Objection, your honor. Okay. And where is Ziedman's located? Ziedman's pawn shop is going to be on Gratiot, uh, north of Shane. Okay. And when you approached Mr. Daughtry's vehicle, how far from that location or Ziedman's on Gratiot, uh, where you stated, approximately how far is that distance? So he stopped in front of the, uh, there's a, a wholesale like fish and seafood place. It's called Al Namer. It's going to be on Gratiot between Werner and I-75. Um, I will say he was probably a quarter mile away. Okay. Did he mention, did he have any interactions with Miss Grimes, to your knowledge, when you were doing your investigation? Objection, Your Honor. Calls for hearsay. Okay. Withdrawn, Your Honor. Um, did he provide you his identification? Yes, he did. Okay. And I'm wrapping up shortly. Let me just make sure I'm looking at the statute and what caused you to issue the ticket for due care failing to use due care and caution causing an accident just simply because he he's side swiped a he side swiped a vehicle that was parked um yeah he had a parked car And did he report this accident to you? Um, I believe Mr. I believe Mr. Draper was the 911 caller. I'm not 100% sure who called 911. Okay. I, I, this cat called. Mr. Daughtry, you got to remain silent. Actually, put your put yourself on mute. All right, I think wrapping it up here. Mr. Doctor, you got to put yourself on mute. Okay, nothing further for this witness right now, Your Honor, but we do reserve further um, inquiry if necessary. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Officer Robinson. Thank you. Your Honor, I do have questions for Officer Robinson. All right. Can we do a sidebar? Um, can you stop sharing your screen, please? Oh, absolutely, Your Honor. Thank you. Put Mr. Daughtry back in the breakout room. Uh, Officer Robinson, I think that, does anyone plan on recalling him? I plan on I plan on crossing him. Let me put let me put him back in a breakout room briefly, and um, I'll, I just let's walk. 